there's no guarantee that this is the bailout that ends all of this uh, for a couple of reasons. One is it might not solve the current issues in, in the, the uh, mortgage market, and I'll come back to why in a second. And the other is there are other issues looming, uh, you know, student loans, credit card debt, auto loans are all out there and all sort of are headed in the same way that, that the mortgage market is. On top of that, there are these, uh, even within the mortgage market, there are these negative amortizing loans that don't really kick in till 2009 or 2010 that are basically time bombs waiting to happen. And so there will be more bumps uh, along along the way, even if this thing works. Whether it works or not is uh, is something I've thought about, and uh, I've got two concerns, and I've got a potential answer. Right? One concern is basically what is being proposed is that we create an investment bank in the government. I mean, what investment banks do, what investment banks used to do, <laughs> is they borrow people's money and make investments with it. right? Uh, and that's basically what the government wants to do. It wants to borrow up to $700 billion and buy a bunch of assets with it. So it's not clear to me that the government's going to be a better investment bank than investment bankers uh, are. Uh, but that's, that's the model, basically. May, maybe Paulson will, will be. Uh, the second issue, though, is this is a really bad way to form an investment bank or a hedge fund. It's only buying one type of asset, and it's a bad asset to begin with. So it's not diversified. Uh, you know, if a hedge fund were going to do this, they would buy a whole bunch of assets, one of which might be bad, bad housing loans. Uh, so I'm worried about how the plan is supposed to work. And someone mentioned there are probably people in the basement of the Treasury, you know, working out the details. Right. And what, what I was thinking was when physicists get to some data pattern that doesn't make sense, they say, oh, gee, this would make sense if only this new element existed or this new, <laughs> you know, quark or dark matter. And it had the following features. And they define all the features, and then, then it all works. And then they go out and look for that element. So if you do that here, what's that element? Let's call it Paulsonite. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think the element of Paulsonite here is that if this gets passed, Paulson is going to go to the financial leaders and say, look, we are in a real mess. You're in a mess. I'm in a mess. We have to work this out. I understand what it says on paper, but, you know, we're going to create this sale. You are going to put up assets. You're going to sell them for the price that we say you're going to, you know. There's got to be something like that going on that, that will make this whole thing work. Otherwise, I'm really scared. 